This is the final game that we have until we reach week one of the regular season and we will have the Denver Broncos taking on the Arizona Cardinals in week three of preseason. And this should be an interesting game because the Denver Broncos are 2-0 and in preseason, beating the Colts who we played as well, but we ended up losing and the Packers that they won 27-2. to What? I was watching this at the gym on the TV while I was hitting cardio. Um, this was a bloodbath. The Packers got railed and then the Cardinals lost to the Saints last week by two in a very close game. The Cardinals had a chance against the Saints, but the Colts game, it was a little bit tougher. And then the Broncos Colts was also very close, but the Packers won, like I said, a blowout. And speaking of the reasons why it was a blowout, let's talk about Bo Nix real quick. This kid has been on fire pinpoint accurate just throwing absolute lasers last game he was eight for nine for 80 yards and a touchdown in route to defeat the packers like we said uh that wasn't very close 27 to 2 and like i said bonix has been on fire he is an 85.8 grade the highest graded rookie in preseason week two he was slinging it he's arguably the most nfl ready quarterback going into week one obviously Jaden daniels is going to start i do think bonix is going to start week one drake may and jacoby Brissett is up in the air honestly i would let Jacoby Brissett take over because that offensive line is horrible and I am all for young quarterbacks sitting for a year or even just sitting for the beginning of the season. I think it's better for their development, better for their growth, and I think it would be smart for New England just to sit him because I think he is a fantastic quarterback. You just have to wait, develop the team a little bit. If he has to take over later in the season because Jacoby Brissett is struggling, then I say you make that call. But there's no point to even risk injury right now, but you do want those reps, so I understand both sides, but I'm all for sitting the quarterback. And then we all know Caleb Williams is starting because they shipped out Justin Fields and they just replaced him with Caleb Williams, who is way better. Bears fans, congratulations. And then the Broncos are in a situation where they can kind of just sit them. They could play Zach Wilson, but that really doesn't benefit anybody. You want to see what Bo Nix has. They're both young. Zach Wilson is like 26, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. He might be a little younger at 25. And I know Bo Nix is 24. So they're relatively around the same age, but you would rather have Bo Nix because you drafted him high. This is your homegrown talent, the guy who is a rookie. And I know he's been in college forever. Everyone makes the memes, but Bo Nix is going to most likely get the start. And Broncos fans, I think you have a really solid quarterback. I know a lot of people are clowning you for taking him in the draft and everyone's coming for Sean Payton in Denver. I don't know if you guys are going to be good this year. I would probably say no. I would probably say you guys win like five, six games. Maybe that could be being generous, but like, you know what I'm saying? I think it was a smart draft pick. I don't think you guys messed up on that. You just have to wait, see, rebuild. You guys have Pat Sertain, one of the best corners in the league. Like you have building blocks. You just got to keep this thing going. If Bo Nix does pan out, you have your biggest building block of them all. Only time will tell though. Now going to this game, I think it is going to be very interesting. I don't know if they're going to play Bo Nix, because if I'm not mistaken, at the time I'm recording this, they have not named a starter. Jaden Daniels just got named the starter. So it'll be very interesting to find that whenever that comes out. I think they will, and I'm not sure if Bo Nix will play preseason week three, but regardless, it is one of those games where it's time to find out who's going to be on the roster, what players can make a name for themselves, and Denver fans, I'm not too high on you guys. I haven't been watching you preseason unless it was the Packers game. I watched you guys absolutely beat the piss out of the Packers, and that's just because I was at the gym. I don't pay too close attention on preseason games most of the time. I barely pay attention to my own. They do tend to get a little boring. But I try to keep it interesting. I try to maintain interest. The Broncos fans, let me know who we need to look out for because I'm not in depth with your roster. I don't know what position battles we're looking for. So Broncos fans, let me know down in the comment section below. Inform us all. And we're going to dive into the Cardinals aspect because we still have Clayton Toon and Desmond Ritter fighting for a quarterback position battle. It is QB2 versus QB3. It is to be determined. I think Clayton Toon is way better. I don't know if Desmond Ritter is going to be a cut candidate. That is going to be very interesting to find out. But Clayton Toon has looked much, much, much better than Desmond Ritter has. I thought Ritter was going to come in here and be competitive, but when I went to training camp and saw him throw all those picks, I knew we were kind of screwed. It was all on Clayton Toon's development at that point, and he looked much better than last year in his rookie season. But there is a level of comfortability. He doesn't have the zip on the ball, but he does play the game the right way. And sometimes he is a little slow, but Desmond Ritter is the same way, if not worse. We got to keep our eye out for this. This is the tell-tall sign. If Desmond Ritter plays bad and Clayton Toon plays well, I expect Clayton Toon to be QB2. I think he is QB2 right now. It would take a complete fold from him to lose this position battle. Keep your eyes out for that. And then Trey Benson. I want to see if he still gets the workload. I want to see if he still plays. If Trey Benson and Amari Demicardo both play, I bet their reps are going to be up there. Then I'm hoping Michael Carter actually gets more than two carries this week because he is on the roster bubble as well. With DJ Dallas playing really well, I think his chances become a little more slim. I don't know how that's looking because Michael Carter, I think, brings a different skill set in the run game. So I'm hoping we still roster him regardless. But DJ Dallas actually doing good on special teams makes it a lot more competitive. So we got to keep our eyes out for that. 
that. DJ Dallas might get up carries. Who knows? We're going to see where this coaching staff's head's at, but Trey Benson and Michael Carter are probably the two guys that I'm looking forward to the most. Maybe they just rest Trey Benson and let everybody in the back end, Amari DeMicardo, Michael Carter, DJ Dallas, kind of take the reps so they could actually see and fully evaluate. That would probably be the most beneficial thing and just save Trey Benson for week one. We saw enough out of him in week two. We finally got comfortable, so we're chilling. Then we also have the receiver position where we have Xavier Weaver, Chris Moore, Zach Paschal, Dan Chisnia, who was basically non-existent last week, and then we also have Tajon Palmer. Those five guys aren't all going to make the roster. I'm not even sure if three of them will. Probably three, now that I'm actually thinking about it, but I mean, Chris Moore has looked really good. Zach Paschal has looked okay. He also plays special teams, so there's a chance both of those guys make it, and we're looking at a Weaver, Tajon Palmer, and Dan Chisnia fight for that last position. It's gonna be very interesting. We gotta keep our eyes out for that, but Cardinals fans, we have a lot of position battles going on, and then Dadrian Taylor Demirson, He's been balling. A lot of people are saying he might be Buda Baker's replacement. I would like to see Buda retain next year. The way he's playing, if he can keep this up, I mean, you never know. I think it's nice to have a rotation, but for this year, it might be good. For next year, it might not be. We have to see what his development looks like, but I hope Buda stays, and then we gotta see what the edge does. The edges look pretty good, but we know that is the biggest roster hole. Are we gonna be able to keep it up? Cam Thomas looked good. Victor Dimakiji was getting pressure, wasn't able to bring the quarterback down. Xavier Thomas was getting pressure, got one sack. Again, struggled to bring the quarterback down. Cam Thomas did too and he had two sacks like the pressure was there all game we just have to do better bringing down the quarterback and the one thing the absolute one thing that I think we need to do is cut back on penalties if I see another game where we have 11 penalties I'm going to lose my mind play more discipline let's go lock in I don't care if it's preseason I know Jonathan Gannon probably doesn't care if it's preseason we got to lock in and stay disciplined because whatever we're doing now is going to translate into the regular season and I know these guys are the backups so it's not the same the team's discipline is being showcased so we have to be better and we need to cut this to under five five is pushing it but that is cutting it in half so if we can cut it to five I'll be okay. We don't want game altering penalties, so play smart. With that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. And also remember, I am giving this football away right here. It is signed by a ton of Cardinals, guys. I went to almost every training camp. We got it signed by Buda Baker. I got it signed by James Conner, Paris Johnson. There are some good names on this football. So if you guys want a chance to win this, I will be doing a giveaway live stream, basically, on the 31st. You just have to tune in. Your name will be entered. And if you are a member of the channel, you will automatically be entered without being in that live stream. So if you want to guaranteed chance at this football just become a member i'll drop a link down in the description below but everybody will have a chance to enter so if you're in the live stream and you type your name on the 31st you will automatically be entered like i said that is all i got for today's video if you guys did enjoy consider hitting that subscribe button i post arizona cardinals and nfl related content so if you're a fan of either of those this is the perfect channel for you but like i said that is all i got for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy it's been your boy mythic peace out Hello.